Hi friends! It's already the month of October and October is a great month because there's so many fun art projects we can do like we can do fall art projects and of course there's a really fun holiday at the end of October and that is Halloween so it's always fun to do Halloween projects. Today I'm going to do a really fun Halloween project with you and that is making spooky fun foam bats. We're gonna make these fun bats, so come along with me. Let's get to it, friends. Okay, friends, for this project, you're going to need a 18 by 12 inch piece of black foam. These foam sheets can be found at the craft store. That's where I got this one. So what we need to do with this big sheet is we're going to cut it exactly down the middle. So you can measure six inches or just fold it and know where the, about the middle is. You're just gonna cut it in half, right down the middle of the long way, this way. So then you'll end up with two pieces like this. But we only need one for each bat, so you can make two out of one sheet. So here I have my piece of Fun Foam that is 18 inches long and now it's six inches wide because we cut it in half. And then the next thing we need is a template or a pattern that we're going to trace. This one I just found online. You could probably draw your own and you're just going to do half of the bat. Like you only need half a bat because we're going to fold this in half. And make sure that you place this half of the bat right on the fold, on the folded side. Where do we put it? on the fold. Make sure you put this side of the bat touching the fold. Good job, friends. Then you just take a pencil and trace it. Hold it down tightly so it doesn't slip around. <clears throat> if you think it's hard to hold it, you could have a friend hold it while you trace it. But that's all you need to do is trace the shape of that half of the bat. Can you guys see where it's been traced? You can see the lines that I made with the pencil. And then you're just gonna leave it folded while you cut it. And just cut on the line that you drew. You cut off that extra piece if you don't want to have to move around it too much. So you're just following the lines that you drew with the pencil. All right, you don't need that extra foam unless you want to make a little baby bat out of it. And then, once you got your bat cut out, you've opened it up, and now you have a full bat. And it's equal on both sides. So the next thing we're going to do is get a piece. I cut out these little squares of red shiny paper for you guys to use for the bat size and whatever decorations you want to add to the bat. Um, this is self stick so the back of this will peel off. You can like peel it and it's already sticky right there. It's like a sticker. So I'm gonna leave it together and then I'm gonna just draw or I can see it, I'm gonna draw the eyes on the back. Whatever shape you wanna make them. Okay, so the next part is to peel off the bat, which is a little bit tough sometimes. You gotta get your fingernail in there. Peel that off and then you can stick it where you want it to. We're making these bats out of fun foam because foam is waterproof. And we're gonna hang some of these out in our 
school garden area for the haunted garden for Halloween. So we wanted to make them waterproof. Once you get the face on, you can take, I have these metallic markers and if you want to use a silver metallic marker, you can make some more decorations on there if you want to outline anything with it. Alright, there you have it, your spooky Halloween bat, fun foam bat. I hope you guys had fun. We'll see you again next time.